Hey, hey Morgan. Morgan! And if your name is not Morgan, my name is Todd. And I'm Jeannie. And we are Empty Besties. Which means that we are empty nesters and best friends as, as, long, as, as long as I make my side of the bed. I have to make the whole bed. Mm, it's only my side, that's where I sleep. Anyway, we make these videos to show our daughter what we're up to since she has abandoned us and left us to die. She went to college and we're not dying. That's a technicality. Anyway, on this adventure today, we are actually going to visit her at college, but along the way, we are going to go antique shopping. Because uh, we are antiques. Because we actually, are antiques. Actually antiques. And I think that's probably the concerning thing, is when the things that you think are cool and that you want to buy, you can't find at a store, they're at an antique shop. Yes, and that means you're old. So go f yourself. <laughs> Don't say that. So we've never been here before. Never. We'll see if we can find some comic books. Mm -hmm. Some decanters. Uh-huh. Racist things? Yeah. Racist old uh, memorabilia. Yeah, we do we do enjoy finding random racist stuff. Girl, don't you touch. God. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're too little to be touching these things. Yeah. You have to ask for help. What? This thing? Orange juice. What's the name of it though? It's the Red Reamer. <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid. That was my name in college. That was we didn't really find anything in this one, but I think there's another one close by. Maybe we can go and check it out before Morgan thinks we got lost. All right, we found a couple more. One here, and then one across the street. So we'll see if we can make a quick jump into all these. The second place that we went to was a little weirder. Do you want to come out and play? But this was the opportunity where we could play our favorite game. Is it racist? Oh God, it's shocking. Is it racist stuff? Mm. Is it racist? I don't know. I think it's just some carving somebody got from. From Buffalo, New York. Here's the mom from Good Time. Is that Diamond Moss right there? I got a couple comic books, but I couldn't check my phone to see if they were super good. I feel like every antique store has like terrible coverage for on purpose. But we had to get out of there because- We got a text. Are you guys antiquing? Where are you? So we made our way into State College and we checked into our motel. This was the, the most terrible motel I've been in since after high school. You know, it's clean. That's all you can say. It is clean. Here she comes. Right going to see your kid She's right there after not seeing her for two months two and a half months three months it's is, like a month and a half is uh it was it was a, it was a thing i just wanted to check her out make sure she was okay she yeah. had all her parts so that she was a did plus. Yeah. which is good so we uh, got all the bulk items that we purchased for her up to her room. And then we had also brought her a new jacket. She was quite excited about that. And then, uh, you know, to, to celebrate our arrival, uh, we were gonna do some fine dining yeah. and we left it up to her. Where do you wanna go eat? Any Anywhere, place. Any place you any wanna go. Any place you wanna go. Any place you wanna go. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. She wants some Texas Roadhouse bread, apparently. Yeah, or she, toast, is it toast? The toast, I don't know. the bread, the biscuits. I don't know. She Whatever she wanted. Something. It was a Texas Roadhouse, and that's where we went. And we were there for it. So we had a good time eating as a family once again. After we got done eating, we uh, went shopping. The yeah. child needed things. I guess more things than what we brought in bulk. <laughs> she always needs more things. And you'll see a pattern here. Lots of using our money to eat, <laughs> and lots of using our money to buy things. Cause she doesn't have any money. That's a common theme. What other That's money is she gonna use? Well, mm -hmm. time to get to the coal mine. No, <laughs> they got coal mines though. They do have coal mines. Yeah, she could work. So after all of our activities, Morgan decided to come stay with us. I think she enjoyed it at least for one night. Yeah, cause the second night she was like, um, I'm gonna stay on campus, okay? She's Bye. like, yeah, she's like, yeah, living with multiple people I don't know and going to the bathroom with a hundred other people is better than your hotel. <laughs> So the next morning we got ourselves together and we went to breakfast. Yes. Uh, we went to uh, downtown State College and again, paid for food. This is a place that Morgan really likes to go to. So it was bagels and breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. So we got all that done. Mm -hmm. And then there were some activities that 
you wanted to do. Yeah, you could sign up for tours of the library, uh, tours of the, they have a weather center, which I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to do all these nerdy things. I want to do, you all, the to do things all the things. Everything on the cool. list you wanted to do. Yes. Morgan, her list was a little shorter. It was none of them. <laughs> So we went to the meteorology department to yes. go see that so you could see the they weather have, They have a weather TV channel so you can like be the weather person. Who doesn't want to be a weather person? I don't know. And point to the clouds this and point is, to the temperature. This is new information to me. It was very yeah. exciting to me. This was all new to me that she had this fascination with the weather. Well, I mean, when I saw it on the list, I was like, oh, that'd be fun. So after that, we discovered that there was a little flea market going on downtown. Yes. So we went down and looked yeah. around a bit. It was nice. And there was a little comic book store there, so I wandered around there and checked that out. And then after that, Morgan finally linked back up with us, only really to shop more. Yeah. But I must say, there were other parents that were complaining that they didn't get to spend a lot of time with their kid. At least we got to spend some time with her. Yeah, we spent a lot of quality time yeah. buying her things. The one cool thing that Morgan reluctantly agreed to do was to take a family picture. Yes. At the Nittany Lions statue at Penn State. Yeah. And very reluctantly. Not yeah. a fan. Not a fan of this. So but we were like, we taking you a better picture. take this picture. We taking a you picture. You better take this picture. Get on top of that line. <laughs> I don't care if you're scared. Get on the line. And you know, I'm sure she'll appreciate that at a later date. When she's 40. But it turned out nice. Yeah, it was nice. As you can see. Yeah. We look lovely. Yeah, I kind of look not so lovely. This is a moment where you thought you were smiling too hard in pictures. Yeah, so I was like, maybe I'll just relax the smile, but I guess I go from 10 to zero, yeah. but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So after picture day, we decided to eat again. Yes, because we like to eat food. So we went to eat at what I think is like a historic establishment in uh, State College. It's called The Corner. Yeah, yeah. spoiler, it's on a corner. Yeah, I and think it's a hotel too, like on the top. I think there were rooms. It could be. Yeah. Might have been, could be currently. The only thing we housed was food in our mouth at yeah. that point. Yeah. And a Bloody Mary, by the way. Bloody Marys. So always check off Bloody Mary at this location as well. It was it was good. So this is probably one of my favorite places that we've eaten so far at Penn State and in, in all the times we've been there. I think I might agree. Yeah. And then after dinner, they asked us if we wanted dessert, mm -hmm. and we were like, "No, sir. Yeah. Back off. Yeah. We're not doing that." Not because we've got um, uh, willpower. <laughs> we had to go to the creamery at Penn State. Yes. So big agricultural school there. And Ben and Jerry's went to Penn State right. to learn how to make ice cream. Crazy Charlie. So we had some ice cream with our little ladybug and, uh, and that's how we ended the night. All right, so the next day there was a big housing fair. Yes. Because there's nothing more that I like than having to go through the anxiety and the trauma of sending your child away. And just as you barely get used to having her away from your house and in a dormitory, they're like, hey, and by the way, no dorms next year. Now you got to get her an apartment. <laughs> and I'm like, what in the everlasting <laughs> Our last thing to do was to finally go tour a location for Morgan to live next year. And uh, it, it was nice, you know, Morgan, was excited to live her very best life. Just her fabulous best life. <laughs> and I'm glad she is, and she's doing very well in school, and you know, all jokes aside. Morgan, you're doing great. Yes, you We're are. very proud of you. Good job, girl. Keep doing your thing. You keep doing a good thing. We'll keep paying for it. <sighs> so after the housing fair, there was a seminar for education abroad? Yeah, for study abroad. So not only was she going to be staying off campus, we we're talking about possibly her going out of the country for studying your book. Too much. Yeah, it this was just too much. This is too much. So after that seminar, it's time to eat again. So there's a little waffle shop and Morgan wanted to go there. It was good. It was like a waffle house. Yeah. But it's a shop. But it was still good. Yep. So after we got our waffle on, we had to do another thing that, that you insisted on. She wanted to go see the library. Listen, the library is nice. I spent a lot of time at the library and I wanted to see the library. It's a freaking library. I know, but it was still nice. So it's a nice library. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's a nice mortuary. It's a mortuary. Yeah, sure, it's nice. But it was nice though. It was like all the stacks. It's just a library. So that's how we wrapped up our day. And, uh, you know, we took Morgan back then. We said our goodbyes and, uh, and we headed home. 
but it was really wonderful to see her again and see that she's thriving and she's doing well and that she's really still good at spending our money. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, that was our antiquing adventure to go visit our daughter on Parents Weekend at Penn State. That seems like a whole lot, but yeah. that's what we did. It was a whole lot. Antiquing. Yeah. So if you like that, if you like the antiquing, if you like the, the empty nester things that we're doing, subscribe, like, share and share alike, I guess. I, I don't know what people do with these things, yeah. um, but uh, we appreciate all the love. For sure. We appreciate everybody watching and we will see you on the next adventure. Yes. Okay. Bye.